Self-Measured Blood Pressure Monitoring, or SMBP, is the regular measurement of blood pressure by a patient outside the clinical setting. In doing SMBP, patients obtain patterns of blood pressure readings in a comfortable environment, resulting in more accurate measurements, better engagement in their own health, and more quickly getting to control. This is an opportunity for patients to get a free monitor. Patients who are identified for the Million Hearts SMBP program are identified by the entire care team. We identify the patients chart by chart, meaning that we go through their history. If they have the hypertensive diagnosis, it's pulled in a report. Then the provider presents the program to the patient and talk about how it could be a great benefit for them in the long run. We focus a lot on the provider referral. We want to get the doctors involved and so we really make sure that the doctors make that a standard and show the excitement of like, hey, this is going to help you. Each center chose a different way to roll out the program to their patients. For White House clinics in Kentucky, that meant using community health workers and adjusting the time allotted for monitors to accommodate their patients. At Whitney Young in Albany, New York, they chose to focus on using their nurses to administer the program. Samuel Rogers in Kansas City, Missouri, opted for a unique partnership with their local YMCA. The patients served by White House clinics struggle with transportation and their ability to get to appointments, particularly for specialty care. When I first got the monitor, I was uh... I wasn't nervous with it or anything. I just would, was more calm, actually, because I was taking it there at home. You know, you're not under any pressure or anything. You know, we all have scales at our houses. We can monitor our improvement with weight control on a daily basis. However, patients who don't have a blood pressure monitor at home can't monitor their improvement or how well um, the efforts that they're making to change their diet um, or to exercise, they can't monitor the, the effect of those changes. When you have something in front of you, it shows that you've made progress and that you've done better, and that makes you feel better. <laughs> when we make a dramatic change like the Million Hearts Program, it's important that patients have a similar experience, whether they seek care at our Berea facility or whether they seek care at our urban site. Therefore, we made the decision to roll it out to all nine sites at one time. You know, it would be difficult to ask our patients to come back once a week or once every two weeks because transportation is such a barrier in a rural community. Therefore, we extended the visits to 30 days, sometimes 90 days, um, depending on how well controlled the patient was. They come back for their follow-up with a provider, and then the provider can look at that and say, hey, you did great. Turn your device in, you're good to go. Or they may say, you've done a great job, but I want to try something a little bit more aggressive. Take it home for another two weeks to 30 days. We supported that with additional phone calls from the community health workers in between those appointments with the patient's provider. We have a hypertension education program. Every SMBP patient gets the hypertension education. The education part that we do along with this program is key. They can take their blood pressure at home in their own environment all they want, but unless they know what to change, it's hard to make a difference. I quit buying processed foods, you know, where you buy them TV dinners and that kind of stuff, and I cook at home and salt my own things, and that way you control your sodium. We know what a huge change, a small change, in the blood pressure reading can make in the long-term outcomes for our patient. We were really excited with the early success of our program. We saw a 5% increase in the number of patients whose blood pressure was controlled over a relatively short implementation period. 5% improvement for our population resulted in almost 350 people who now had a controlled blood pressure, which is a great success for those patients. One day, Deborah, she was my nurse. She wanted to check my blood pressure. I think my blood pressure was about 170 over 90, so it was pretty high for my age and everything. So she asked if I wanted to join uh, the program with her to help see if I can find ways to lower my blood pressure. We decided to let our nurses be the catalysts and the drivers of this program. In doing so, they were able to select patients that were not only appropriate for SMBP, but were engaged in the idea. And the first step is figuring out what they do and do not know about blood pressure. Most of them do not know what the readings mean. Also, we're gonna be going over lifestyle changes. The amount of patients who are starting to realize that when they drink coffee and then they check their blood pressure an hour later and it's elevated, but the next day they don't drink coffee and their blood pressure is lower, they can make that connection that for them, coffee raises their blood pressure. So it helps them to be in charge of what habits they want to change 
based on how their body is affected by it. Ms. Deborah said that salt contains a lot of things that can make a high blood pressure go up. When mom found that out, she went on a salt rampage where she would take almost everything that included salt out. So it was pretty intense. There's a lot of change. I appreciate it, but I still like salt. <laughs> we're trying to give them the tools so they can succeed. So they can take what we're teaching them and use it to make them have more control over what their blood pressure readings are. Having patient-generated data gives us that background. We always say when our patients leave the office, we kind of have that hole in the loop. Nobody knows if you're actually taking your medication, whereas we send you home with a monitor. When you come back and see me, I'm going to be able to go to the doctor and show them this is how his blood pressure is. That data helps fill that hole in the loop and it gives us a better idea of whether we're on track with our blood pressures here in the office um, or whether we need to maybe do some adjustments outside of the office. The real exciting part is seeing the collaboration with our nursing staff and the patient. Sometimes you'll hear them say, I stopped drinking soda and they're, they're really proud that triggers an engagement with that patient that we may not have had in the past. D'Angelo found that when he watches his blood pressure, it helps him to stay on track for doing other healthy lifestyle choices. So that's what's really exciting, is we get to really take one facet of the patient's health and allow it to sort of infiltrate through their entire lives. My blood pressure was lowered and everything. It's uh, much better. Yesterday I checked it and it was around uh, 108 over 60. So it's a lot better than it used to be. <laughs>asistido, lógico, con mi doctor, este, pero no sé por qué razón no, no se me bajaba la presión. This program initially was rolled out only for English speaking patients because at that point the YMCA only had an English speaking coach. As they started evaluating the need, we were actually missing the opportunity of targeting the population that needed it the most, which is our Spanish speakers. At that point, the YMCA hired Alma. I believe in my role as a Healthy Heart Ambassador is really important since some of the participants, they know the YMCA for this long time and they feel like comfortable like that's part of the community. A lot of our populations work 12-hour shifts. With partnering with the YMCA, a lot of their health coaches have staggered schedules, meaning that they can offer contact after the standard 5 o'clock cutoff. La presión, por primera vez, la traía 189 sobre 110. Alma and I will come into contact with patients that are in denial that they have high blood pressure. Pues si entendía, si si entendía lo que el doctor me decía, pero no sé, me hacía falta otra cosa, otra explicación más. With the monitor now, you can check it at any time of the day. They're getting that affirmation and that visual. Hey, just because you had one good number, look at these other five that are abnormal. They need a visual to get the confirmation that there is a problem. If they don't see it or feel that there's a problem, there's not a problem. <laughs> Once we start giving the patients the tools, they're able to feel more empowered and they actually feel good that they understand what those numbers mean. Una persona con hipertensión we made the four nutritional seminars a requirement because we actually saw that nutrition has a lot to do with high blood pressure. Bueno, yo no sabía que, que era muy importante todos los cuidados que, que tiene uno que llevar para estar bien. Era, es muy diferente la sal que comía antes a la que como ahora. This is Alma. I'm calling them every week. How did you blow per day? They say, well, I'm not going to lie because you're going to see it on the portal. They have to have their, the app and they connect through the Bluetooth. If I notice like the blood pressure is really high, I'm going to call them. Have you taken your, your pill? How, how do you feel? Do you have any chest pain? Are you feeling bad? Before I'd always have to wait three to six months 
before I could make a determination. And that determination on changing meds or giving treatment was based on one reading, maybe two readings. Now I have concrete data from Million Hearts Program that they are under control or they're not under control. It just helps to treat the patient in general better. So está muy bien. 128 sobre 77 y 80 del pulso del corazón. Es que todavía no me acostumbro a que me salgan así las medidas y me salían bien alto todas. No, pero está súper bien. Ah, sí. sí. Whether working with existing community health center staff or in partnership with outside organizations, patients enrolled in the Million Hearts SMBP program have shown marked improvement in as little as one week of having a blood pressure monitor at home. I think sometimes when you're in the trenches delivering care, you forget that as health centers we're part of a bigger movement. And so it was a great opportunity to remind our staff that we are part of a larger movement that's improving care across the nation. This SMBP program, we are engaged with our patients and we really pride ourselves on giving our patients the opportunity to work with us and work for themselves to improve their own health.